The Pastomaster 60 RTX is used to build the bases for many different desserts. It has a heating system and a refrigeration system. You can heat your water, sugars, and syrups while thoroughly blending and thickening everything together. It has a circulatory system so that, as it is heating the product, will flow and allow everything to incorporate. This way, when you run the aging process on it, you get one liquid homogeneous product. This machine has a chamber and a hopper. The chamber is considered the small pot that is down below the hopper where the beater revolves and the pump is primed. The hopper is considered the portion above the chamber where product is stored. The circulatory system is pressurized to a point where if we attach a hose to the bottom of this spigot, the machine will pump its product up into the cylinder of a batch freezer, eliminating the need to transfer the product using a pail or bucket. This particular model comes with a washdown hose and it has a built-in library of recipes that you can follow to make the different products. It also has a programmable system that allows you to build your own library of recipes that you wish to save. This machine is also capable of holding the product at a safe storage temperature once the batch is completed so that it can be dispensed as needed for a batch freezer. You do not have to empty all of the product out at one time. The full capacity of the machine is 60 liters. The minimum capacity is 30 liters. This machine heats up using resistance heaters, which are located inside the machine in the chamber. This machine also has a built-in refrigeration system that does both a cool down and an aging process. The operation of the machine is fairly simple. If you want to start out by heating the product, simply press the heating button. The circulatory system comes on, the resistance heating system comes on, and it will slowly bring the temperature of the product up. The target temperature is displayed, as well as the current temperature in the cylinder. If you have a product that is ready for refrigeration, simply press the freeze button. The refrigeration system comes on, and it will refrigerate the product down to 37 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a safe storage temperature. If you strictly want to energize the beater to stir up a product that doesn't require heating or refrigeration, simply press the beater button. This mode is also used as the cleaning function. To activate the washdown hose, press the washdown hose icon and squeeze the trigger. The machine has a built-in timer, recorder, and a library of recipes. If you choose a recipe that is in the recipe library, you can press the auto button and it will go through the recipe step by step. For example, using ice cream, high pasto. It will heat up to its target temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and it will tell you when to add the sugar, cream, and flavors to the batch. It will then heat up to 85 degrees Celsius and it will hold this temperature for 30 seconds before it brings the product back down to storage temperature. By holding the batch at 85 degrees Celsius for this long, it heat treats the product. Note that this machine is not a pasteurizer. The machine reaches and holds this temperature to heat treat the product, not to pasteurize the product. Operation. By pushing the beater button, the beater will turn on and the pump will engage. This will allow you to dispense product from the machine. The further you pull the knob, the faster the flow rate. If you use a tri-clamp fitting and the extension hose, you can put the hose directly into a batch freezer without having to transfer the mix via bucket or pail. Disassembly Disassembly of the nozzle system for cleaning is relatively easy. Simply rotate the handle to the far left, push in on the mechanism, and take out the knob. Then the entire system will come out in your hand. You will remove the O-rings here, remove the spring, then remove the plunger from the center and remove its O-ring. From there, you will take the parts to the sink for brush cleaning. After the parts are clean, you would simply reattach and relube the O-rings. Slide back the plunger and reattach the spring over the nozzle. Then reinsert the dispensing nozzle by lining up the two holes with the left side reinserting the nozzle back into the machine and reinserting the handle as shown here. Troubleshooting Alarms There are a few alarms that the Pastomaster uses to indicate hazards around the machine. The alarms are indicated on the display of the machine. There is a magnet switch in the lid that activates a reed switch inside the front of the cabinet. When the lid is not securely closed, there is an alarm that shows up on the display. 
To clear out an alarm, one must simply correct the issue and then press the stop button. There is a second alarm that is on the shaft cover that secures the beater shaft in place. If this is not locked into place, the alarm IMS shows up on the display. Once the cover is secured back into place, the IMS alarm will still show until you press the stop button to clear the alarm. These alarms are in place to prevent operator injury. If the lid was not secured into place, there is a chance that the constantly agitating and very hot product may come into contact with a person's flesh, and we want to prevent this from happening at all times. On the inside of the machine, there is a cover over the sleeve that has to be in place to prevent product from spilling inside and getting into the shaft. We are going to remove this cover and remove the safety sleeve from the machine. Also, there is a cover on top of the terminal. This cover has to be in place again to prevent product from getting into the shaft on top of the motor. This is the beater bar. Once we remove the beater bar, we will point out the bushings used in this machine. This terminal has a black bushing on the top. There is also a bushing inside of the beater bar. As this machine is used, these bushings will get old and worn. As part of your regular maintenance on this machine, you must replace these bushings. The beater bar bushing can come in nylon or brass. Either of these types of bushings will work fine. To remove the bushing on the terminal, you will take a wrench and turn it counterclockwise until it screws off. You will then press the old bushing out and put your new bushing in. Then you will replace the bushing in the bottom of the beater bar and lower the bar back down over the shaft and replace the terminal cover. Then place the shield back over the beater and seat it into place, listening for the click. Then simply slide the terminal cap back on. Now the machine is ready to operate. The machine has to have some type of product in the tank before it's turned on. If you run the machine in the beater mode with a dry hopper, you will cause a premature failure of the beater shaft and a premature failure of the terminal and its bushing.